Hey everybody, it's Hyper. I know it's been a while. I'm going through a lot of personal stuff in my life at the moment, but I'm back for another video. So today we're going to be continuing the Bunker series and taking a look at Bunker Z3 in the uh, southeast-ish corner of the Z3 sector. So uh, again, like uh, I always do, we're going to be looting this bunker with just primitive gear that everybody can make from the start. So we have a bow, some arrows, a wooden club, I found some nails, they're really easy to find, so I just use that anyways, just for safety's sake. And I usually have a knife, but I don't have one this time. I'll make one of those real quick. <coughs> Excuse me, and then we'll take a look at the bunker. So this is another bunker that I actually kind of like a lot. I mean, it's hard to get to, considering it's in the uh, Z3 bunker all the way down here, and you have to either go through one of these three or four bridges, or take a boat. But it's not bad, it's kind of secluded. It wouldn't be a bad place to like make a base or something like that. <coughs> but we will pick this up and we will start looking. So, <coughs> first thing you're gonna notice is we are facing the, <coughs> excuse me, recovering from COVID actually right now. So bear with me if I cough. So we are facing the south right now and this is the entrance, um, the north side of the bunker. And immediately you're going to see a couple things. You're gonna notice that um, there is a uh, like little Quonset hut up there, like one of the military Quonset huts with all those sandbags around it. You're going to have a few little buildings over here, a bunch of wrecked um, vehicles. And back there, you're going to see that there is a uh, little office building, one of the ones that has a dresser in it and a restroom and stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to go around this side, um, try to avoid being seen by him because some of the, I don't know, lately mechs have been um, <clears throat> seeing people through fences and it's been it's been a bad time. So if you come around the right side, you're gonna see that right there is the bunker entrance. We're not gonna sneak in right there because it's really hard to sneak past this guy, at least in my experience. And you're gonna see up, up there, there's um, more wreckage up there. There is a little fenced off area that has a bunch of tarps under it, so that's not bad. There's some train cars, some little, um, uh, like those little storage container, like offices, those are really good to find um, guns, you know, screwdrivers, uh, bobby pins, stuff like that. <coughs> But we're going to make our way around the right side of the bunker, because that, like I said, is not the way you want to go to sneak into this place. If we keep on going to the further south parts of the bunker, you're going to see that there's that office building I was talking about with the dresser and all that. Not bad. Um, sometimes there's water sources inside. <coughs> I haven't checked this one out, but I think you all um, can have the freedom to do that. Typically, I let you guys do the exploring, and I just show you how to get in and out and find like the armories, the good stuff, right? So we're going to keep on going to the uh, south, uh, what would this be, <laughs> the south uh, west side, and this is, um, or southeast side, this is one of those little, uh, what is it, like maintenance bay, like warehouse buildings, you can get like vehicle repair kits in those, you can get a lot of clothes and stuff, and you can get a better uh, view of the other stuff up here. Like I said, the train cars, the broken down buildings, and then the military Kwanzaa hut, or like, uh, that steel building hangar thing is what people typically call them. But what I'm interested in is what's on the other side of these bushes. Because on the other side of these bushes is actually the ladder. So what we're going to do is we are going to quietly make our way over behind this little spot right here and go in through the ladder. Other than what I've shown you so far, there's not really much this bunker has to offer on the surface. Which is, it actually is quite a lot compared to most bunkers, but, you know... <clears throat> It's a pretty small surface area. Some of them have really huge surface areas, but this one's not very big, which I appreciate. The ones that take up a lot of space and waste a lot of like room, where um, the mechs have a really far like distance they can aggro on you, lots of places for enemies to hide. It's just, oh hey, there's a drop there, I might check that out. It's just not a good time. But this one's, this one's not bad. And this one's kind of a mirror of another one of the bunkers I'll be taking a look at later. I believe it's the C2 or C3 bunker, another great bunker. And uh, it kind of mirrors that in most, uh, it's almost exactly the same. So um, if you see this, it might help you with uh, C3 if you're in the area. I don't know where that guy just went. I don't want to upset him. So we're going to stay left. Okay, there he is. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't look like he's interested. So we're going to open that. Is he going to come over here? Even if he does, we're already in the bunker. So here we are. We're already in the bunker right here. I'm going to close that. 
Uh, just in case he's up there when I'm climbing up. I've peeked a few times and gotten shot in the head, and, you know, that's not really the ideal situation after you loot a bunker successfully. But again, be careful when you go down the ladders because, uh, you know, typically these can either not have doors and be filled with puppets, or there could be a puppet locked in a small room with you. So just be on the lookout. And it looks like this might be one of the open ones. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the air out just in case, really quick from the start. <clears throat> Might as well check these out. Uh, the loot tables in this bunker are actually really good, just like B2 um, and the A0. They all have really good loot tables. Uh, I don't know why that is. Different bunkers uh, or different sectors maybe it is have really good loot tables, high quality, um, high uh, rarity gear. So uh, This is one of the ones I do like because it typically has better gear. So we're going to come down this little ramp and we're going to come to this little intersection right here. <clears throat> you have this door leading to the right, and then you have a hallway to the left. I do hear a suicide puppet, so we're going to have to take it slow. Let me see. Uh, Nako calls them, um, what did he call them? Gigglers or something like that? I liked that name. It's pretty cool. Little nickname to give them. <clears throat> Except it's kind of, it kind of bugs me because they're so, um, it's sad. It's really sad, the stuff they say. I don't know if you guys have taken the time to listen to what the suicide bombers are saying between their laughs and stuff, it's it's really messed up. And it, it kind of like bums me out. All right, we're gonna take care of this guy really quick so I can show you what's down this hallway. All right, if you take the left side from where we came in, you're gonna immediately find a depository. Depositories are great for finding water, boots, sometimes bags and food. So always check depositories if you're first starting out. And then to the right, we have an armory. <coughs> Again, excuse my cough. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could get rid of it. And this one's not bad. We have what? Uh, AS Vel here. Really good right there. Oh, look at that. An assault backpack. I'll just equip that right now. Might as well, right? Um, but yeah. What am I doing? I always forget which one to click. Alright, so uh, yeah. We got four lockers in here. Typical um, typical stuff you find in an armory. So we're going to keep going down the hall. Um, it sounds like the suicide bomber may be on the other side of this. So we need to take it slow. And always check your corners every time you go into a bunker. It can be really bad if you don't. <clears throat> okay, so I got my arrows out. I run in here, check to see if there's anybody. Nope. Uh, there he is. That can be bad. So what we're going to try and do is uh, not mess with him at the moment. Uh, down this hallway, um, you will find some good stuff. Though. Let's see. Oh, we're not going to go there just yet. That can be confusing. We'll take a look at that when we go look at the other side of this place. On the left side here, you are going to find the kill box down that ramp. And uh, if you keep opening the doors and going farther. So that's not bad. <coughs> Let's see if we can get his attention. He did not care. There we go. Uh, you just gotta take your time with those guys. It can be really bad if you try and rush it, especially when you have no gear. Easily die, but look at that. You can tell right where it hit him. Little arrow right there. I'll pick that up just in case. You got some, um, these little cage boxes over here. Got a bunch of tarps down here. Tarps are great for finding like clothing, military gear and stuff. Look at that. K36 helmet, military quiver. Might as well pick it up even though I'm gonna get rid of it for the next video anyways. Um, <coughs> Another military quiver. Wow. Um, so next we are... I guess we could go in here. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so this is a little control room. Not not great. Control rooms are alright. They're good for bobby pins. Uh, canteens sometimes. That's really about it. I mean, there's one off where you could find guns. But it's super rare. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to chance that at the moment. Just because uh, I feel obvious reasons. We're going to just go back around the other side. And there's going to be different ways to get inside these places. So we're going to backtrack our way all the way up to where we came in from the ladder. So there's where we entered in. If we go um, over here, you got the bathrooms and the other depositories and stuff. Nothing special, but we're going to go this way. And again, you're going to hear more. So here we have a control room. Again, control rooms are all right. They're not great. Uh, you can get gear in them that you get in the small control rooms, but nothing special. Depository here to the left. I'm going to hide in here because I have no idea where that guy is right now. And just mind, if you're by a door with a window and there's a suicide bomber on the other side, it can hurt you. If there is no window, though, they can't hurt you. You just can't be line of sight with them at all, and you should be safe. Okay, it sounds like he's further this way. 
Okay, or is he directly above me or below me? Oh, it looks like he was above me. Okay, makes sense. This is the other side of the control room, but we're gonna keep checking the farther upstairs side. This will open up and you will find more places up here. Nothing crazy. This will take us to the main entrance, which I'll show you. There's a depository to the left and here's the other armory right here. You already saw the ladder room, you already saw the other armory, you already saw the kill box, so we've pretty much seen the whole thing so far. I'll show you the bottom area, there's nothing special down there, just tarps and stuff, nothing crazy. Um, but uh, definitely could be of help. So this area right here is the way out, I'm not going to go in there just right now. Usually you can navigate bunkers by the lights. You're going to find blinking lights like this at the kill boxes, the main entrances, and the ladder room. So that's a, a big tip I can tell new people. That's where you're going to find those strobe lights like that, those like alarm style lights. Okay, he's armored, so we're going to take it slow. Whoa! Alright, see, and this is why you always need to have a club on you. If it would... <clears throat> yeah, see how quick the club takes down those guys? And you know, like, the armored zombies are usually pretty hard. But the club takes them down pretty quick. I'll go down this hall just to show you guys. All it does is go in a big loop. There's nothing really special. There's a little, like, infirmary area there, a laboratory. Good for medical supplies and stuff. Not crazy. Um... Just like typical stuff, you know, you usually find all this in a bunker. This will take us all the way to the top, back where we're by those uh, other things and stuff, and uh, you got a control room, and that's the whole little loop area. The bottom side has another door that leads to the other side I was showing you guys. We could go to the bottom of the control room, but that doesn't really have anything to offer. It's another like hallway loop like this, so there's some tarps down there. Again, nothing special. There's the uh, lab off, or not the lab office, but the laboratory. I usually call them infirmaries because that's what they look like. They're like a medical office kind of thing. So I don't know. I could be wrong. You know what? Let's take a look at the uh, control room really quick. We'll go back down there. I'll show you guys what's around there, which is not really anything special. But you can find good stuff in the control rooms. Again, you could find... Um, there's that guy. So we're going to just come back here, let him aggro on us, and we'll just take care of him through the window. Just so I can show the new people um, how to handle different situations when you're looting bunkers. Always close doors behind you. I forget that a lot while I'm recording because I'm focused on narrating and stuff. But uh, always close doors behind you. It's just the smart thing to do. <clears throat> so we'll go through the right door really quick if it's clear. Looks like it. Again, like I said, it's just a loop of more little hallways like this. Nothing crazy. More doors, more tarps. Uh, there aren't any more armories down here or anything like that. It's just more hallways. On this side, it's good because you can find lockers and depositories and stuff, but nothing special. You already saw this door. I showed you this down by the kill box, so that connects to right here. Whoa! You scared me, sir. God, I hate these guys so much. They are so bad. I hate the up armored zombies more than anything else. And again, I have my uh, damage turned off because, like... I love game players and I love scum, but they do too much damage with their bare hands. It's insane. Like, they'll drop you to like 60% of your health on like vanilla settings, which is ridiculous to me. Especially when you get swarmed by a ton of them. Alright, this guy's dead. We're gonna go this way. And I know I'm injured. I don't care about it. It's a category one. I can tell just from the level of bleeding. It's not a big deal. Got some more um, lab offices, you get that medical supplies, get some rags, all that good stuff. Some of the uh, phoenix tiers will spawn in those offices too, those little areas on the wall. So that's good. Um, <clears throat> that's the control room again. Uh, you got these little hallways. Uh, that's where we met one of these unfriendly fellows. All this stuff over here. Just more medical places. Nothing super special down these areas. All right, it's going to loop all the way down around to the other side, and then we're going to connect back up to the control room again. I just thought I'd show you guys the entire bunker, just to show you that, uh, nah, there wasn't anything special down there. That door doesn't open, and we're just going to go back to over here, go through the control room, and we are going to exit out, not the main entrance, we're going to exit back out of the ladder, just because, uh... That mech just goes in a straight line back and forth, and he will hear you no matter what you do. You can go right or left, but it's kind of far. 
from where you want to go. So, yeah. Anyways, you come out of this uh, little hallway up here on the top level, or if you come from over there, up that ramp from the kill box and the main entrance, you'll come up here to the ladder room. And again, there's a strobe light showing you that this is either an exit, an entrance, or a kill box. And we are going to climb right up it, and we will be done with Bunker C3. I mean, it did last a little bit longer than I wanted to, uh, because I decided to go check the uh, third, or minus three floor, I guess what you call it, the third level below the surface. But I think it wasn't bad, especially if you get lost, it'll show you how to get out. Pretty simple bunker. It has everything you need, pretty easy to loot, very easy to sneak into, you've got lots of cover over here, it's a small surface area so running and hiding is not bad, it's just a, overall a good bunker and I really do like it. So we're just gonna climb up, we're gonna turn around and go back behind this little warehouse area and we're gonna go straight out the fence and that is Bunker Z3. So uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or requests, I will be making more videos in the future. Again, uh, just showing you um, with primitive gear tree that anybody can do this. And um, here is Z3 Bunker on the map right here to show you that, um, or how to get to it. You gotta get down here into Z3. Really good bunker. I recommend checking it out, especially since I'm not a huge fan of the Z3 sectors. They're just so barren, you overheat and all this stuff. But I, I did I did like this bunker. And again, it's very similar to this bunker right here in C3. They're almost a mirror image of each other, which is um, which is nice. Um, it, it makes things convenient. And again, this one has excellent loot tables. I don't know if it's different blueprints of bunkers or stuff that have different loot tables, but I'm trying to figure out that whole trend. This has a great loot table. This has a great loot table. Uh, this one does, and so does this in A0. So um, stay tuned for more. I'll be making a lot more. Uh, I keep saying that. It's just stuff keeps coming up in my personal life. Again, just bought a house and moved, so life's kind of hectic right now. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. The support means everything to me. And I uh, hope you all enjoy playing Elden Ring because that actually came out today at 10 a.m. If you pre-ordered at GameStop, I haven't picked mine up, but uh, we'll see. So thanks for watching and peace.